potentially my favourite part of the office. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. These are part of my work uniform. I said it was going to be detailed and I ain't no liar. Only problem is, quite expensive. <laughs> Hello everyone, how are we all doing? I hope you're all good. Today's video is one that I've wanted to do for quite a while now. I'm really excited about it. A lot of you guys who watch my vlogs regularly will have seen little snippets of my office, but today we are doing a full in detail studio tour. In case any of you are new here, let me introduce myself. Hello, I'm Hannah, welcome. I'm 23 and my full-time job is creating videos just like this one. But a few months ago now, in September 2021, I launched my very own business. So I sell pet accessories, I sell dog harnesses, collars, leads, human accessories for walking out in the winter. If you've got a dog, basically, my business is for you. It's called Sunnyside, I'm super proud of it. I'm really proud of the branding and of the very cute products that I sell. I am biased, but I think there's some of the best on the market and this year I'm really hoping to expand the business. It's been going really well since the day I launched Touchwood and I run the business from our, we call it the summer house. So in our garden we had this building built quite a few years ago now and we had it built for the purpose of barbecues, summer parties, having people over, just having it as like a little social room. It quickly got filled with junk and it stayed that way. So last year my family and I cleared out this room and got it all ready to launch Sunnyside. So I'm going to show you my setup. Up. Now that I'm settled into the business, I feel like everything works really well. I've got everything in good places now, but I am going to quickly run out of space for stock. So I don't know how long I'm going to be in this office for. Hopefully one day I'll be able to rent a unit somewhere and have my own office space, but I'm not going to run before I can walk. I absolutely love this office and I'm excited to show you around. But before I start the office tour, I just want to quickly mention that this video is very kindly sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark are a regular sponsor of mine because I believe in the product so wholeheartedly. And if it's the first time you've heard me talk about Surfshark, you may be thinking, Han, what do you mean these sharks are surfing? <laughs> so Surfshark is a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network, and it's essentially an underground tunnel to the internet to keep you and your information safe online. It's particularly important for me now that I'm running the business because I'm not only online shopping for personal use, I'm shopping for the business as well, and I do not need anyone hacking into my information for any of my business accounts. It's so easy to use, you just download it to your internet browser. I use mine with Google Chrome and so easily you can switch to a different IP address in another country and it pretty much hides your own IP address so if any hackers were trying to access your information they'd be thrown off thinking that you're in another country or that you're somewhere else in the world where you're not. You can also use Surfshark to connect to the internet around the world. For example, if you connect to an IP address in New York you can access the internet as if you're in New York which means when you log on to Netflix Netflix, American Netflix libraries, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't be without Surfshark now. The Netflix is an added bonus, but for me, keeping my personal information safe is the most important factor. And Surfshark are offering you guys an incredible deal. So if you're interested in checking out Surfshark, make sure you use the code FABULOUS at checkout. Then my friends, you will get 83% off and three months extra free. It's such a good deal. I couldn't be without it now. And using my code, it works out to around just £1.60. 63 per month. So there's a link to Surfshark down in the description below but for right now let's crack on with the studio tour because I think there's going to be a lot to get through. Apologies if this is quite a long video. So if you come in at the door this is a quick little overview of my office space. I'm going to go into detail in a second but I just this would help you visualize where everything is placed. So yeah this is what you see when you come in. The agreement I had with my mum and dad was that if they wanted to use this room for socialising with their friends they were still able to do so. I could so easily move these two tubs over here, push all of these back and the sofas would be free for them to socialise basically. So it's kind of a little two-in-one room but obviously most of the time this is used as an office. It hasn't actually been used for socialising yet, just me and my dog socialising together. Just wanted to point that out because that's why there are the sofas in here, the coffee table and as you can see there's like this wooden unit over here which belongs to my parents. Obviously if I have my own office space one day this kind of furniture won't be in there but for now coffee table especially super handy. First up I'm going to run you through my little desk area where I print the orders, get organised and do the paperwork. 
basically. So this is my desk. Isn't it adorable? I love that it looks out onto the garden as well because obviously this is a dog business and most of the time I have my dog with me and she just goes out and plays in the garden. I can keep an eye on her. Um, but yeah, this is where I print all the orders, print all the postage labels. The desk itself is from Ikea and the chair, I can't remember where I bought that from but I'll link it down below. I'll try and remember to link every item that I talk about as much as I can find anyway. But yeah, I really like this office chair. It's pink, it's velvet, it is cute and it's not like I sit in it for hours at a time so it didn't need to be super comfortable although it actually is right now I just use my laptop I don't have a computer out here I just bring my laptop out each day and that works absolutely fine for me I've got my scales on my desk to weigh every parcel over this side I've got my printer so the white one is to print the order packing slips which tells me what someone's ordered it goes in with the package this wasn't an expensive printer it's from HP it is the desk jet 2710 E. That means nothing to me. It was just cheap and I thought that will do. <laughs> I've got this notebook on here by the way because this room gets really cold in the winter so when I come out here in the morning often my pens don't work which is why there's little random scribbles so I can get writing for the day. And then over here this is my postage label printer. So this is called the Hot Label Thermal Printer. I got this on Amazon. The white printer I got from Curry's I believe. And this is a thermal printer so there's no ink needed for this. It's never going to run out of ink. You can get the 4x6 six inch labels from Royal Mail and I've had absolutely no problems with this printer so far. I'm really pleased with it actually. It definitely wasn't the most expensive one on the market either. I just thought that would do and it's doing the job just fine. Got my little pen pot, pretty self-explanatory and I'll just give you a quick rundown of the drawers. So top drawer we have more stationary bits and bobs, hole punch, stapler etc etc. This drawer I have, this is a Royal Mail um, size guide. I'd really recommend getting one of these if you've got a small business because obviously if you're sending out a large letter it has to fit through this gap and if it doesn't your customer could be charged more so yeah I'd really recommend this I think I just got this from eBay it was like a few pounds next drawer down I have my folder which is full of like invoices import tax custom sheets and all stuff like that basically any receipts and any invoices that I get go in this folder a little paper trimmer as well that was about fiver from the range but I use it so often this one is extra labels so Things like the labels for the thermal printer, some customs labels for if I'm sending orders abroad, which I'm just starting to do, and some spare paper for the printer. And the bottom drawer is some technological things like different lighting. I've got a photo box behind the sofa here. So this is what I take all my product photos in. It just unfolds into like a cube. It's got LED panels. That is the wire for that. So that is my desk. I think that's everything you need to know about that. I've got to show you the windowsill because how adorable. Can you tell that my branding is like baby pink? <laughs> so over this side, I actually got these for Christmas from my auntie, uncle and cousin. These are like infinity flowers, so they're real roses. This little calendar is from a small business which I will link in the description down below. I love how cute this is and obviously it's personalised with the Sunnyside logo. It's got little doggies on it and I can just change each month as I get to it. I've got my flowers and I've got my little Sunny statue. My dog Sunny is a cavapoo, so she actually actually does look a bit like this. Here's my little phone stand. So this is what I use for when I'm doing Instagram lives, which I'm trying to make a regular thing on the Sunnyside Instagram account. I just pop my phone on there. I use this ring light for my Instagrams and Bob's your uncle. And then this side, I've just got this little plant pot, which has a pair of pliers in, which I use to cut my cable ties every time I go to the post office. And it's also got all these little, um, branded sunny side tags which I add to my rope leads. Oh I would also recommend this um, floor protector. I got this from Ikea. I think it was £19. I just got it to protect the floors because obviously the floors are wooden. Don't mind my Crocs. These are part of my work uniform. Got a little paper bin under there. Nothing too exciting. And over this side, right, I want to point out the elephant in the room, the heaters. Yes, they're ugly, but this room gets really cold in the winter. This one's an oil heater, so this one stays on all the time. And this one I just put on for a bit of extra warmth behind my desk if I need it. I cannot wait for the summer when these can go up into the loft, because there is a loft space up here. They just ruin my vibe. They are not cute, but they do keep me warm, so I do love them. Right, I've got this little footstool. This was from the range. I originally bought this for product photos, but it's actually really good for storage. It opens up, and I keep some plastic bags in there. They're just handy for separate in stock when it first arrives and I've got a box of treats for Sunny to keep her occupied while I work. She's also got her little blanket 
blankets over the sofa. Between the two sofas where I lounge with my little pup and edit Instagram photos, I have the Cricut station and the spare pre-made boxes. So let's dive in. So I do sell some travel mugs, which I personalise myself and I use my Cricut machine. I store it over here and then I just take it out as and when I need it. I've got all my vinyls, all my accessories, and it's a really nice little spot for it over here. I've got some spare boxes that I've pre-made as well. If I'm really organised, this pile goes all the way up to the ceiling, but clearly I'm not that organised today. Cricket section complete. Let's keep going. So under the coffee table, I've got this little folding machine, and this is to create the sleeves for my rechargeable hand warmers. This machine basically just like folds the creases so that I can make it into a cube. But I've got nowhere else to store that for the moment, so it just lives underneath the coffee table. Then we get to the real deal the stock the most important part of the business lots of my tubs are looking very empty which is a good sign i suppose so my actual gray tubs are from a website called big doug i'm not gonna lie they're quite expensive i needed a lot of storage and a lot of like small individual spaces for each product and each size if that makes sense so when i found these tubs from big doug i thought they are perfect only problem is quite expensive however they are so practical, they are exactly what I need, and it's so easy to expand, like you can just buy more tubs and you've got more storage, you can move them around, which I do quite often, I'll get onto that a little bit later. So they work out to just over £10 per tub, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you realise how many boxes I've got, that's quite a lot, <laughs> like this section here. 90 pounds and I have two rows of these so all of these you can see here are also behind them and it doesn't end there so I've just invested in my next collection and this just isn't enough space in this room so I've converted my old YouTube office to another stock room which I will show you after I finish showing you this office so this is like a studio tour plus new stock room tour and then down the middle of the tubs so there's kind of like a dead space so the tubs stack up onto one another which is so handy but it means they lean back quite far i'm pretty sure you can see that on camera but it means there's like a big gap between the two rows so i use that to store my cardboard boxes all of my flat packed cardboard boxes are down here so the biggest size is up that end and then it works its way down to the smallest size i'm honestly really glad that the tubs lean in like this because i have nowhere else for my cardboard boxes to go and this works perfectly you may be thinking han how on earth do you get the ones down here well, I'll show you quickly. I said it was going to be detailed and I ain't no liar. This is a lot easier now that I've sold a lot of stock because they're not quite as heavy. But yeah, any of these rows can be moved just like that. And then I can get down to the size I need. Lovely stuff. Moving round, obviously we've got another row of tubs down here. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze to get to this stock, I'm not gonna lie, but it works. So this is the Stitched With Love collection. We've got lilac, we've got ice blue, we've got golden beige, and we've got berry red. Again, in all the different sizes. Over here are all the collars, and up here are all the bow ties. Such cute colours, I'm obsessed with this collection. Let's make our way out again. The little packing area, just over here, is potentially my favourite part of the office. It's so cute and super organised. Really floats my boat. So I'll quickly run through this and let you guys know where everything is from. But here's a quick overview. So again, I've got a desk, another one from Ikea. These ones are super cheap. There's no storage. It's literally just the tabletop and the four legs. This work mat I got from Amazon. I just got this to protect the table when I'm cutting stuff. Underneath the desk, I have two different bins. So this one is for plastic and this one is for basically everything else, like the back of stickers. All my products arrive to me in packaging like this. Um, and this can be recycled. I take it to my local co-op and they have now got a soft plastics recycling scheme. These bins are just from eBay. I think they're about £20 each. So on the desk, I've got my little pink tape dispenser. Of course it is pink. And also a little desk lamp. This was from Dunelm, the pink tape dispenser I got on Amazon. And I've got this little pot here full of the Royal Mail labels and some cable ties. These are the vinyls for the travel mugs. I just sit and pre-make these as and when I get a chance to. And then when an order for a travel mug comes in, I can just take one out and add it to the mug. It just means that I can keep on top of my orders and get them shipped out as soon as possible. I like to get them shipped out within a day or two. Two working days is my absolute maximum. Right, and then this is a little stamp. So 
this has the sunny side logo on it obviously it's back to front because it stamps down like that i got this on etsy and it's so handy for personalizing my boxes this is the little ink pad that goes with it i do need to buy another one of these i think i just got this on amazon the stamp was fairly expensive i think it was about 40 pounds but customizing my own packaging boxes saves so much money rather than buying customized boxes and i like the look of it as well like if i show you one of my boxes now this is the kind of box an order would come in and when you open it up on the lid of the box is my little Sunnyside logo, which I've stamped using that stamp right there. So I'd really recommend it. I know £40 seems like quite a lot. It seems quite expensive for a stamp when you're just starting out a business. But like I said, to have these boxes made with my logo there would be so much more expensive. Moving round down the side of the desk, I've got the... They're actually called grey mail bags. I don't know why, but Royal Mail sent me red ones. When you have a Royal Mail business account, this is what you package your parcels into, and then you take the bag to the post office. So all my Royal Mail bags live down the side, just in there. And then my shelving unit. So the actual unit, I'll try and link down below. I built this myself. It was really easy. And I really like that you can move the shelves around. I moved them fairly recently, and it wasn't too difficult to do at all. So down here, I've got some pre-made boxes to ship orders out in. This box down here is my little faulty box we don't talk about her i refuse to send out products that aren't perfect i may eventually put a section on the website where like imperfect products are just sold cheaper for example this harness looks absolutely fine and then when i was about to package it i noticed that for some reason the design sort of like stops and restarts on this edging and that just bothered me like it probably wouldn't bother anyone else but if it's not perfect i don't like sending it out i am obsessed with my packing area i think it is adorable and it's so handy the way i've like configured it so let's have a little run through as you can see i've got some more pre-made boxes i have six different sizes of boxes to send orders out in depending on what the person has ordered on top of the shelving unit i'm so chuffed with this right i've put my tissue paper up up here which is fab because it's so easy to grab one bit of tissue paper for each order and it also means that the top of the shelving unit never gets dusty because there's always a new layer those are the full sheets of tissue paper for the bigger orders and for the little small boxes i've got half sheets of tissue paper on here these little baskets are from a website called chickadee again that I think they're quite expensive for what they are. I know you can get similar ones in Primark now. So if you're looking for some like this, definitely make Primark your first port of call because I think they'll be cheaper. But to be fair, I only ever buy these boxes when they're on sale on the Chickadee website. I have a whole load more down here. These are all just spare ones in different sizes. They are really handy. I'm so glad that you can just collapse them down and store them. So obviously this shelf is all of my stickers, my vinyl stickers to package up the orders. I've got my little plant from Dunelm for a little bit of greenery because why not? All of these go on the outside of the boxes when I package the orders up. I designed all of these myself and I'm really proud proud of them i did have like christmas stickers which were all a really cute red color but now it's january we're back to the pink these stickers are all different sizes so these ones go on the large letters these ones go on the small parcels they're slightly bigger these ones go on the tiny boxes they are so cute and then each order comes with a quote card to keep and each quote card has the washing instructions of the pet accessories on the back I've also got some little business cards. So a quote card and a business card goes in with every order. I've got another tape dispenser just here for bigger tape. This hefty tape is yet to arrive, but that's going to be used for international orders. I think that's everything for this room. So I'm going to quickly take you in my house, upstairs, and into my new stock room. Okay, this won't take too long, but this is the new stock room. Obviously, the new stock has not arrived yet. So when you come in, I've just got this white sheer curtain up on the wall this is really good for background photos just gives it a little bit of texture in the background rather than plain white but it's not too distracting to the eye like the focus is still on the products over this way we've got my little rail so all of my current harness designs are on here i keep one of each for product photos looking at this rail makes me feel so proud like i absolutely love every single design these shelves up on the wall are to make it feel more homely they've just stayed from previously before this was a stock room but yeah this is basically the main attraction all the tubs I have 28 tubs if i need another row when the stock arrives i can move this lamp and take the shelves down and i'll be able to fit in another row of seven but for now this is ready and waiting for the new collection to arrive here's a little sneaky peek of some of the new blankets so we've got the cherry blossom the palm the burgundy 
and the Porphy cups. Very, very excited. They're all going to be stored in here when they arrive along with the harnesses for the big dogs. Then round the other side of the room, this is pretty much for my other job, which is doing exactly this, making YouTube videos. So a lot of this is like P.O. Box stuff, products have been sent, products I need to post about. Obviously I've got my computer, a little candle, a little vase of flowers, and I just have a wardrobe over this side of the room. This is my stock room for now. If I need more room, I don't really know what I'm gonna do just yet. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but for now, this is where I'm gonna keep the excess stock. So that, guys, is my studio and my stock room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to link as many of the products as I can down in the description below. I wanna say a big thank you again to Surfshark for very kindly sponsoring this video. Don't forget, there's a link to Surfshark down in the description below, and if you use the code FABULOUS, you can get 83% off and three months extra free. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you run a small business? If you do, what do you sell? What's your small business called? Maybe we can all support each other and go and check out each other's businesses. We love a little side hustle. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you again very soon with another little video. Bye, guys. Love ya. Bye.